Let's start tonight with college football as number 10 Montana State headed out west for a game against UC Davis. Montana State, they are looking for their third consecutive win. The Aggies clinging to playoff hopes. The Cats strike first in this one. Actually, UC Davis on this incomplete pass here, gnawing at the end zone, but the Cats will strike first. Tucker Rovig. Dropping back, finding a streaking Travis Johnson down the sideline, 47 yards, and MSU is in business. Moments later, Troy Anderson from the Wildcat. You know how this goes, 7-0 Montana State. But Davis responds in the second quarter. They go to the ground game, and Alonzo Gilliam, he punches one in from a few yards out. Now the Aggies take the lead, up 10 to seven. But right here is a momentum changer. Aggies lining up for a field goal, but it is blocked by Jason Skrempos. And then the Bobcats take over and take advantage. Johnson taking the snap. It's bobbled, but he gathers it, finds a seam. He's quick, 75 yards and gone. 14 to 10 Cats at halftime. Aggies reclaim the lead in the third quarter. Gilliam this time from 18 yards out, making it look easy. 17-14, UC Davis back on top. Here's the stand of the game for MSU. Aggies go for it on fourth and one. Josh Hill stuffs it. After a Tristan Bailey tied a game with a field goal, Isaiah Afonso seals it. He punches this rock in, and Montana State wins 27-17. On an night when UC Davis had the reasons to celebrate senior night here at UC Davis Health Stadium and quarterback Jake Mayer breaking the program's career passing yardage record. It was actually Montana State that leaves celebrating after that 27 17 win coming from behind after being down in the second half. The defense stepping up in a big way, only allowing two of 14 on third downs and stuffing the Aggies three times on key fourth down conversions, including a big one on the plus side of the field that led to points for the Bobcats. Rose up at the, the most opportune times, whether that was in the red zone, uh, on third, on our money downs, and then obviously, you know, having two fourth down stops was big, big, big in this game. Yeah, we talked about um, just throughout the week, like giving momentum, like the offense works off, off the defense, and defense works off the offense, and same with special teams. So it was great to give them that momentum and get them going. So MSU still very much in the thick of things when we're talking postseason play. And of course, there's still one more game to go next week. The big one. It's the Cats. It's the Grizz at Bobcat Stadium in Bozeman. Reporting in Davis, California, Richie Melby, MTN Sports.